Hello, wig pals. Welcome to All About That Fringe. I'm Karen. I have been waiting for a sunny day so that I could show you Harmony by Envy and um, talk to you a little bit about how this one is sitting on my head. She was a gift from Wig Studio One, not in exchange for this review, not in exchange for anything. And she wasn't even a gift for me. She was a gift for a friend of mine. I'll tell you a little bit about how she wound up here and show you a few pictures and um, just give you a little bit of information, sort of a mini review on her. So Harmony um, was a wig that was on the Angel giveaway um, for Wig Studio One. And Andrea from Wig Studio One um, had shown a bunch of really beautiful pieces that were donated by manufacturers, including Envy, who makes Harmony. Now, Envy had donated a different version of Harmony. I don't remember what color it was, so forgive me for that. And congratulations to the deserving person who has that piece. Andrea reached out to me and um, after I submitted a little letter explaining that um, if Harmony were given to me, I would give it to a good friend of mine who is currently going through some really, really tough medical treatment. Um, actually, it's been sort of a one-two punch for her and um, she's got little kids and, uh, you know, a life that I, I really can't wait for her to get back to. So, um, I do want to say that um, I, I had said, you know, Harmony would be beautiful for her because she has this long, gorgeous brown hair. And I think the original piece that was being um, given away was, was in the darker brown area. Um, I'll also tell you how we got to this color. So I got a message from Andrea from Wig Studio One saying um, that she and her team would like to give my friend um, Harmony but in the color of her choice. So it was like, wow, this is amazing. Um, I reached out to my friend and um, I told her about this. And I think at first she was a little bit hesitant. Um, she hasn't lost much of her hair yet, um, but it's coming. Um, and I wanted her to be able to have some fun with this and not have this be another thing that would burden her. So choosing the color, I have to say, wound up being really fun for us. Um, you know, she looked at the color, she made some choices, she rank ordered them. Um, I sent that list to Andrea on top of it was dark red. Now I'll tell you, my friend chose three colors that look nothing like her current bio hair. Um, and wow, I've got so much, so much respect for that and the decision that she made around it. She had said that if it turned out that she needed to use this more than she wished or hoped that she would, um, that she didn't want to make it seem like she was, you know, trying to pull off what she normally looked like. She wanted to have some real fun with it. So look at this color. This is Envy's Dark Red. If you've never seen or looked at Envy hair before, you may understand now why I wanted to wait for a day with good sunlight, um, which we haven't had very much recently here in New England um, lately, but I wanted to wait so that I could show you the color in here. It's absolutely gorgeous. This was her first choice, Dark Red. I kind of feel like I need something in this color now. Um, as a matter of fact, I just recently made a post of um, Envy's very short wig, Delaney in Chocolate Cherry. And they remind me a lot of each other. Um, and uh, I, yeah, I think, I think either one could kind of give you a very similar look. Um, Harmony comes in 25 colors. So um, if you like the style, you might have to figure out a couple that uh, that would suit you. So um, she's got a lot more wave and a lot more curl than um, I'm used to wearing in front, but I wanted to show you what that looked like. Um, she could do a fabulous updo. Um, and I'll show you a little picture of me just kind of holding my hair up. Um, if you know anything about me, 
from my previous videos, you know I can't get up and spin for you. So I'm kind of restricted here in this recliner. So I will show you a quick spin video and I'll show you some pictures with lighting inside and out. But before I do, I wanna say thank you again to Andrea and the folks at Wig Studio One. I wanna invite you to their website to check out their products. Um, and I also wanna invite you to look at their Facebook group. They have a private Facebook group that's called Wig Studio One, Wig and Topper Support Group. There's about 20,000 people in there. And um, what we all do is post pictures of our helper hair and the different colors and the different styles so that we can see what it looks like on different people and not just the models. Um, and I, I think that's just so helpful. Um, but for, for my friend um, who is going to enjoy this absolutely luxurious piece, I want to thank Week Studio One and I wanna give you an opportunity to see how gorgeous she is. So I agreed to do this little review first. All right, hang on, I'm gonna show you a few things. So this is the Wig Studio One website, and this is a picture of Harmony. I wanted to show you, um, first of all, she's on um, flash sale this weekend, um, and that happens usually on the weekends. So if you wanna check out their 30% off sales, you'll find that Wig Studio One often will have them on Envy Styles on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, but this is a beautiful look at the back of her. I'll show you one of myself in the mirror, but it's, it's just a really good look of what the back looks like. You can see more pictures here as well. Um, I also wanna give you a little tiny spin here and show you what that looks like. One of the things that I always try to point out is that all of the helper hair looks different in different lighting, even how I look right now compared to the spinning that's happening here. So I wanted you to get a little bit of a spin of me and most people spin their body around. Um, there's the back, but I kind of spin around the room just so that you can see the different shading and the different color there as well. All right, let me get her out of the way. There we go. Sorry, sweetheart. Okay, the other thing that I wanna share with you is a little bit, I'm gonna just go ahead and start this little tiny PowerPoint for you. Just a little bit about um, Envy in um, dark red, but Envy in general. So give you a little peek here of her specs. She's synthetic fiber. She has a monofilament part um, and she is lace front. So I don't know if you can see here, but um, she hides pretty well and she looks like the hair is coming directly out of my scalp. Um, it's a little darker of a color, but she still has a really great part. Um, her front is four and a half inches. Um, so actually, I don't know if you can see me doing this up here, but you could get a bang out of her really nicely instead of side sweeping her. If you wanted to trim those up just a little tiny bit, you could get a really cute bang. Um, her sides are 11 and her nape is 11. So she's got some length going on here, right? Um, she weighs 4.76 ounces. That's kind of heavy compared to some of the things that I normally wear, um, but she's not, She's not all that dense. She's sort of a medium density. She's got enough to carry the length, but she doesn't feel heavy or weighed down. She actually feels, um, she actually feels pretty nice and she's got really decent coverage. Um, cap size is average. I am a 21.25 circumference. I did nothing to her. I didn't have to cinch her in or let her out. Um, I do wear a wig cap, I'm wearing one now. And um, with that, she's really secure on my head. Um, and again, there are 25 color choices. How can you not find something you love? What I wanted to show you here is um, some of the lighting too. And this particular piece of lighting, I'm facing into my kitchen away from my living room. I have sort of like a, you know, three rooms together kind of things. I get different light no matter which way I turn, which I think you also saw in that video. So um, 
here are some different views of indoor lighting. And here's kind of, if you want to imagine what Harmony might look like in an updo, I think she'd be really sweet, really cute in an updo. Um, but as you can see, when I turn in different directions and I catch different light, the color looks different and it looks different right here in my den, in the sunlight, in the early afternoon. I also wanted you to get to see what she looks like outdoors. Um, again, I caught her on a sunny day and um, got to snap a picture of her. Look at that auburn richness in her. And then finally, I wanted you to see the bathroom lighting, which always makes everything look a little orange, um, but you can get a better look of her length there as well. I hope that's really helpful. Let's take a look at her inside. This is her gorgeous lace front, it goes temple to temple. And um, what we have here is a, a monofilament left side part. Um, it looks weird when you're looking at it in the, in the video. So I also, as I was watching other reviewers videos, I'd be like, no, that's a right side part, but everything gets reversed on the video. So it's a left side part. And once I turn it inside out and put it on my head, um, it goes exactly where I'm used to my part going. Um, you've got some nice rose lace on top. She doesn't have any permatease in here at all. Nothing, zero, zilch. I feel absolutely nothing. So if you're a person who likes a lot of poof, um, you could style her so that you're sort of pulling up the sides and then you get kind of a, a nice like updo kind of poof on the top. But if you're looking for some natural teasing look in there, she's not your girl. Um, she's got nice open wefts in the back. Um, she's got a lot of stretch. Um, so oops, um, she's got a lot of stretch and um, she has these very nice bra strap sort of adjusters. You can tuck her in if you needed to make her a little bit tighter. And like I said, on my 21.25 inch head, she fits just perfectly without any adjustment. But as you can see, there's a decent amount of room. You could let her out a little bit and take advantage of that stretch or you could pull her in as well. So before I leave you here today and just put her back on, um, I just want to say I haven't done anything to style her. There's no product here. Obviously, I want her to go to my friend without without anything um, kind of in the way. Um, the only thing I've done is give her a little squirt of water, which you've seen me do before. But um, I just want to tell you a little bit of water can go an awfully long way. Um, and make sure that you're always using a wide tooth comb with um, with helper hair that's as long as Envy, you always wanna make sure that when you're combing things out that you're doing it from the bottom and then you're working your way up like this. There are beautiful videos from Wig Studio One experts that can tell you all about these sorts of things. So I'm not pretending to be an expert. I'm just sharing my experience with you. Um, please like and follow all about that fringe. Um, we post videos from here from time to time. We have a little Facebook page that is just starting to get launched. Um, we'll post some more pictures there. Um, but for now, I hope that this is a good way to connect um, and a good way to remind you that there are good people out there who do good things for others that are maybe not going through their easiest time right now. So if you would go ahead, like, subscribe, Look at Wig Studio One's um, website and the things they have to offer and follow their support group, join their support group if that's something that you think that could be helpful for you. Um, and, and please say a little prayer or send up some good energy or um, anything else that you do that comes from your heart and your spirit for my friend and for her recovery um, and for a gentle time for her treatment. Thank you. Thanks for watching.